guys, so first off, let me apologize. I have really bad allergies right now, so I'm going to make a lot of ugly faces and ugly sounds and stuff throughout this video. I'm sorry, I am on allergy medication, but it's like very severe allergies, as you can tell. <laughs> so, anyways, I just want to show you guys my brand new train case. Uh, you know, I kind of have mixed feelings about train cases. I feel like sometimes they're really nice to have. I think other times they're impractical because you could just buy one of those little Sterilite containers with a handle at the Walmart for three bucks, five bucks. But, you know, I feel like it's just fun to have one. I've kind of looked at this train case for a very long time, and I think it's a really good alternative to the Sephora one. Unless I want to show you guys, because I know a lot of people buy the Sephora one. But I My friend has a Sephora one, so I've played with it in person. I feel like it's just too big. I feel like it's too heavy, and I feel like on top of being big and heavy, this space just isn't utilized well. I feel like the upper trays are just really not well designed at all. So for how big it is, you can carry such a small amount of makeup that I just don't think that it's worth it at all. And so, I think the only real benefit to the Sephora one is that it feels very sturdy. So this is the one I got. This is the Japanese train case. I've actually eyed this for a very long time, and then I finally decided to buy it because... I always see Beauty Bar's coupon codes pop up in the Google search engine, and so I finally refound one of the ones that was $15 off of $50 with this gift code. So I finally decided to get it because it would just be $55 instead of $70, and there's actually no tax if you don't live in one of these states. That was nice. So it's just $50 flat. So that was really cool. And they also offer free one to two day shipping. I actually ordered this on Thursday evening and got it Friday evening, which is pretty cool. And so yeah, this is what it looks like. This is their medium train case. It also comes in this leopard print pink and brown, I think. I will show you guys what's inside. Inside, I just basically have enough makeup, really just for me or if I were to do friends makeup. I really don't think this is big enough at all for a working makeup artist unless you know you already knew your client and so you could figure out what would look good on her. I really don't think this is enough really for a true makeup artist. It's just enough for really traveling around and you just want to be able to carry a lot of your makeup and do it at your friend's house then. I think this is a really good option, but there's no strap. And that's pretty much the other flaw I can really think of it. So this is what it looks like. You guys can see the details a little more closely. Very sturdy and solid. A little Japanese label right there. It's a little placard. This is what it looks like. So you have two drawers that come out like this. Make a total of four upper drawers and then one larger open compartment. So I guess I'll show you guys. This is pretty much, I filled it with stuff that I would bring if I was going somewhere special and I wanted to wear pretty heavy hair makeup, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. This is all the stuff that I would bring. <laughs> so here I have my Murad Mattifier, my Too Faced Out Insurance, which is my favorite base. And then I have some NYX concealer in a pot, which is okay. I like using it for, I like it sometimes. Other times I find it to be very cakey. I don't know, it's weird. Sometimes it works out well, sometimes it doesn't. I think it works really well when it's hot. And any other time, it's just okay. My <laughs> Smashbox Face Primer, I like using this under my eyes. I don't use it on my whole face anymore. Milani Liner, Shiseido Eyebrow Pencil. I have a Panasonic Kitty Curler. Lancome Mascara Base, Fiber Wig Mascara, and my Shiseido Concealer, which I really like. And then these are some of my more favorite lip products. Um, Yves Saint Laurent. Rouge Voluptin is number one. Lazy Day MAC. This one is uh, Underage by MAC. I like this when I'm looking for a really nude lip or I need to nude down my lipstick. Shiseido's Petal Pink Lip Gloss, which is discontinued, but it's still my favorite color ever. I have two MAC paint pots. This is Constructivist, which I really like because it's a really pretty color. And then Soft Ochre is just this matte beige bonish color which I really like as well. It's really good at canceling out if you have someone or know someone with veiny eyelids or if you have veiny eyelids this is really great. This is particularly great for Asians because you know a lot of people like painterly but if you're Asian painterly it has a little bit of a pink undertone and soft ochre has a yellow undertone which I like better. And I have this is the interview trio by MAC. I like that brown color a lot. And I just have you know any medium tone silver which is just a silver ring. Then I have Black Tide, I have Satin Taupe, which is one of MAC's best colors ever. And then Femme Few. I'm really sad this is a limited edition color, but this is probably my favorite highlight color. I think this is better than Vanilla. And then these are my probably my top three favorite blushes. So, or one of my top three favorite blushes. So this is um, Dior's Harmony de Bronze in Coral Riviera. So pretty. This is a really great peachy coral blush. This is Utterly Game by MAC. This is discontinued as well. This is limited edition, but I really like it. And then this is Laughter by Bare Minerals. I think I tend to not use this mainly just because it's annoying to use because it's a loose blush, but I think the color is so pretty. Very 
pinky color. I know it looks like, just like a little cherub baby's face. I don't know, it just gives you the perfect little angelic pinky cheek. And then here I have NARS Turkish Delight. I'm trying out this Yves Saint Laurent Tante Resist foundation. I really like it so far. Super like it. I like it much more than Makeup Forever and the MAC one that you see. I have the Makeup Forever Duo Matte. Um, I don't like this over foundation, but if I just want to wear a little bit of face makeup and I'm going to be out for a long time, so it needs to last for a long time, then I like to use this. I like to use like I said, just by itself, but if I use it over foundation, I think it looks so cakey. Really not cute. And then I have this Stila um, Lip Glaze in Clementine, which I really like as well. I'm wearing it in the video. And then this Etude House Glissade Lip Gloss, which is also discontinued. Number 11. And then in the bottom, I just have some Q-tips eyelash color. See, more than enough room to put your brushes in here too, which I really like. Then I have Makeup Forever Setting Powder. If I'm going to wear foundation, then I like to set it. Honestly, I really think all these setting powders are the same though, whichever brand you get them from. And then here I have my NARS. Denmarie palette. I love this thing. And my Laura Mercier tint and moisturizer right there. The keys for the tray case. And I have two MAC palettes. Because the MAC palettes obviously wouldn't fit inside. So two MAC palettes. And it's really. <sighs> so Cantaloupe, which is one of my favorite colors. And then you have Margin right here, which I really, really love. It's like this corally but kind of highlightery looking color. I don't know. Kind of similar to NARS's Orgasm, but more of a coral. I don't really like it. And then Harmony, which I used to use for contouring, but now I use more of that color in the Dan Marie palette. So I guess my favorite in here would either be Cantaloupe or Margin. And then my MAC Neutral palette. So colors I always find myself using would be, for sure, Blank Type, which is my favorite matte, matte eyeshadow. My favorite matte highlight. Oh, so I use this color a lot. It's cork. I like that one as well. Um, vanilla is a really popular highlight. I'm not as crazy about it as everyone else, but it's pretty popular. Um, amber lights, which I use all the freaking time. I also like this color a lot. This is typographic. See, it hit the pan. But it's typographic. As you can see, it's not as black as Black Tide or as Carbon would be. But, I mean, I guess sometimes that's even better. I can see the blacks compared. But it's still pretty dark, and I love it because it's a lot more easy to blend than black tide and carbon which I find to be kind of chalky. I actually like this one a little bit more. It's a lot softer. It's just easier to blend into an eyeshadow look. So that's it. That's my train case. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my train case and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.